25 questions in 25 days. Hello, Aluxers. This is a special series we're doing before the end of the year where we answer some of the questions you ladies and gents have sent our way. If you're new here, do yourself a favor and subscribe. You're currently missing out. Here's today's question. How to make money with no money. Asked by Cara Roll at Cara JR on Instagram. This is one of those topics that deserves an entire Sunday motivational video. You know, the one that's over 25 minutes long. If you're looking for business ideas, we actually did a video called 15 Businesses You Can Start With No Money that you can watch by clicking the link in the top right corner. This is not that. This is about what it really takes to move forward from being broke and how to really make money when you have no money. This is fairly popular among the young members of our audience who have entrepreneurial desires but do not have access to money in order to leverage it for growth. Guess what, kids? You gotta work. Because you don't have money to exchange for goods and services, you have to rely on the only thing you have available, time. The only way you make money when you don't have money is to exchange your time for it. The rules apply if you cut grass for people or if you write code for an app. There are three types of ways to earn money when you don't have investments. One, get a job. Two, build a business. Three, offer your services in exchange for money. The more valuable your skill set is, the higher the pay you can ask in exchange for your time. Now, it all depends on what the hell you plan to do with that money. If you need quick cash, services for money is your best option. No matter what you consider your position to be, nobody is beneath manual labor. That's your starting point. Need cash? Drive for Uber. Don't have a car? Take away Uber Eats. Or whatever food delivery service is available in your area. Need money to support yourself? There's this amazing concept out there which millennials have struggled to grasp while sipping from their frappuccinos, where you go into a building, you do what some people tell you to do, and then you go home. It's as easy as that, and once every two weeks, they give you money. This innovative strategy is called getting a job. Why does everyone want money without putting in the work? For some reason, everybody is a starving entrepreneur these days. Everyone is working on their miracle app or is becoming a social media influencer on the dime of their parents. Here's an important tidbit of information. Unless you're getting paid, you're just playing pretend. The last option is starting a business. Guess what? Most businesses require you to work twice as much as you would in a normal job without pay for the first two or three years in which every cent you make should be reinvested into the company if you want to have the slightest chance to succeed. So, how do you start a business without money when you're young? Early in the day, you go to school. Once you leave school, you go to work. Find a part-time job or pay-for-service gig in order to support yourself. Then, during the night, you work on your business. Oh, you don't like what you hear? That's because life has probably been easy for you so far. You've only had to struggle with one of those things, and most of your problems have been taken care of by other people. Starting a business is a very difficult and demanding process. That's why 9 out of 10 businesses fail, because people don't have what it takes and the dedication to make it happen. If you're looking for easy money, you're not going to find it on our channel or anywhere else. The sooner you understand that even the smallest side hustle will require time and effort, the sooner you'll be off making real progress in your life. This video is a wake-up call for some of you out there who are broke and looking to score big. You're broke because you're probably lazy, not because of the system or because the rich are getting richer. But broke is a great place to find yourself when you're starting out, because the only way you can go is up. If you're serious about this, you need to start taking action. You're already watching these videos, but that's not going to be enough. You need to both educate yourself and implement what you learn in the marketplace. Here's a book we want you to read. It's called The Power of Broke 
by Damon John. You might have seen him on Shark Tank or know him as the founder of FUBU. The book tells his story of how he went from waiting tables at Red Lobster to a $300 million fortune. He goes into detail about the choices he made, what it took to get out of the hood, and how much effort it really takes to make it. We know you're broke and the book is fairly expensive, so here's what we're going to do. If you go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up, you can get the audiobook for free thanks to our partnership with Audible. Listen to it as many times as you need. At some point, some of his stories and advice will resonate with you and your situation, and a click will happen in your mindset, and you'll realize nobody is going to give it to you. You have to go out there and take it yourself. We know this probably isn't the video you were hoping to see, but we felt this is the actual info that could make a difference in your life. Being broke is a part of the journey. Staying broke is a choice. If there are successful entrepreneurs in the comments, would you please share how difficult it was to start and how much time and effort you put into it before you saw some traction? We feel like this might really be valuable to our community. If you want to make sure you're not missing any of the daily value we provide, make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media. You can never have too much motivation in your life. We handpicked this video for you to watch next. We look forward to hearing from you and as always, see you back here tomorrow.